Good afternoon everyone. In today's video, I will be solving the midterm exam uh, for our student at Ajman University. This is the short type uh, or the short version of the midterm. And uh, let's start. I'm not going to here explain each command in detail, but rather I'm going to give the sequence of each uh, of the overall solving process. If you are interested to know each command and what it does, please feel free to go back and look at the course, elementary course that I have or the basic course that I have for AutoCAD in my channel. So let's just start. I have AutoCAD ISO template ready and open. First thing is to check the units. Make sure it's millimeter and make sure they are in a zero position. I'll start up a layer. I'll call it a grids. You can call it center line. I don't know. And I will change its color and I will load the uh, thickness 0.05 and the line type. You should also load the proper one. Select it, don't forget, and hit uh, make it current. From a further look, it's 6 by 4, 8, 18,000. So probably you can go ahead and make it 25,000 as a line uh, the line went almost good if it's not just hit LTS uh, maybe I don't know two I to make it a bit bigger again LTS I don't know uh, 10 50 yeah 50 is good zoom in go ahead and make the circles or the bubbles whatever you want to call it and place a text put the rectangle inside the circle and hit A, finish. If you don't see it, as we said in the lecture, just select its place and scale it up. I'll scale it up maybe 50 times up. There we go. You probably need to practice that. I know there's lots of student uh, failing with the scale or you can fix the scale in the beginning, uh, you know, uh, from the inside text to property, depend on how you wanna how you wanna do it. Back to the plan. If you want a copy of this, guys, as a PDF, just send me on my. Just write a comment, and I will send you with your email, and I will send you this PDF for you if you want to solve it. Uh, seven thousand, seven thousand five hundred, which sound great. So seven thousand, and the second one will be fourteen thousand okay and the fourteen thousand will be again nineteen thousand that's my ABC I'm just referencing you from the startup point if you want to offset uh, seven thousand and then cut the command and you know offset it at seven thousand it's up to you double click on the text and then double click it again and that's all you can uh, write your text instead of the old one. Now copy all of those guys down. You can, uh, sorry, you can rotate this dude. Uh, specify the base point. Click on copy uh, and then move your hand upward. Then just move. Yep. Move previous. Get rid of the left side with the window selection. Rotate that dude 90 degree and make it one. You can notice that my laptop is a bit slow. It's actually slow. In response, and now we go back to this. We have 6,000, 8,000. So 6,000 to the south and 8,000, that's mean 14,000, okay, and then another 4,000 for the last one. And you can say that this is a little bit, need to be pushed up, maybe a little bit of a stretch on both sides. Stretch command is one of the most important command, guys, you have to practice it. Now double click again and fix those numbers. It's 
try always to make the grid first in such a document and I will copy those guys all of them from the left quadrant to the end point of the lines now I'll go LA and I will create the dimension layer make it current probably make it yellow I don't know why I always see them as a, as a yellow colors and change back the line to continuous keep the thickness to 0.05 as a line weight and here we go you know make sure that your grid is placed properly I'm gonna use the DCO here all right and if you don't see the dimension it's okay just go D style dimension style go modify and fit and I'm making this maybe I don't know 50 just make it bigger yep 7,000 7,500 so as a beauty as you can see it's beautiful as you can see but I think we need to notch that a little bit up to a hundred maybe I think it's a little bit bigger then check the vertical one it's a good idea to do that early in the design so you make sure you are not messing things around you know it will be harder to fix now it's a 6,000 8,000 4,000 and everything look really beautiful so let's go back LA again create a new layer this time will be the walls pick up a like, random color whatever you like or dislike I don't know just the thickness make it um, maybe 0.3 yeah I think 0.3 is what we agreed on now I will use the polar line and the intersection so you know polyline all right I think it's easy job and yep yeah. beautiful you can see how easy is doing that and then close beautiful now the thickness of the wall is 200 mil so I'm gonna zoom in offset a hundred okay all right and oopsie good idea to lock the thing explode excess space so you get back your normal lines to get rid of the polyline so now they are fragmented line it's a good idea to extend those guys together so ex space or space space it depends on what type of autocad version you have and life will be so beautiful again as you can see now a bit of trims tr space or tr space space it depend on oopsie it depend on what type of autocad you have now the mistake i'm doing is that i do not turn off the grid layer you should turn them off you don't need them at this moment your primary objective now to create the walls and I did them so it will be so smart if we turn them off so turn them off should do that before the trim to save the time lazy me now create the architectural opening it said it's 9300 and then 2000 so I'm gonna offset 9300 from the inner face and then I'm gonna go to 2000 my friends give it an EX and give it a trim and then the other architectural uh, it's a 2400 by 2000 or it's been centered to the middle so 2400 okay and 2000 you can just copy the opening this is much more professional than what I'm doing now but I think I just forget uh -huh. Almost done. That's the walls, and then I think the window 4,650, and then it's 2,500, 4,650. From where I get this crazy number, I have no idea. I just designed them. 2,500. Okay, and then extend those guys, and then trim those guys. And everyone will be happy and it's mirrored to the other side yippee just copy them all right make sure that you are using polar 
or ortho or whatever method of constraining that to horizontal level and everyone will be so happy now we have the architectural opening done now we can do the curve careful it's from the inside 2500 so fill it uh, radius 2500 in the inner side just offset it to 100 I'm not gonna do the calculation I'm too lazy to do that all right that's done didn't take more than a couple of seconds the same thing upward so F uh, I'm not going to give the value because it's saved. And AutoCAD can remember the last value. Oopsie. I'm going to get fillet radius zero for this error. And then we need a trim probably here. Don't freak out when that happens. It's easy to be fixed. Now we need a layer for the uh, doors. Uh, let's go for it. So LA. Los Angeles. So doors. And I'm gonna make them current and meh. Cyan. Make them I don't know 0 0.15. Yeah. And close that. Quickie offset 50. Lots of students. I see them in the exam struggling with making doors. Guys, you just need to practice a little bit. There's no need to freak out about that just practice practice and this is the line and this is the midline again see back the videos i explained that in a boring detail and the purpose of that specific video is to give you the sequence not to show you the comments i have no idea what i'm doing here okay all right i lost the midline RO this is it and yeah that's a 90 degree and I'm gonna offset 50 up you can draw a rectangle I'm too lazy for that all right and uh, no I need that circle and then you trim Hey, I found where that line goes. <laughs> it's here. I love it. Mirror. And then get rid of this dude. I'm not going to make any blocks as block was not part of our uh, midterm for this year. Just need to rotate that. Move that. And now I need to create a new layer. I will call it Windows. Again, I will make it current. Give it another color. Just avoid the dark blue. It's kind of pain for our eyes. Offset uh, 50. Well, there's a good trick in here. How about we steal that? Okay, no one seeing. No one watching us. Let's steal that okay and place it here take this dude and place it in the window layer and just copy that again downstairs and add you know offset maybe 20 i don't know it's okay to do anything copy those guys all of them you can keep the three lines or make them two deleting the one in the middle i will totally agree and almost that's it i'm gonna activate the dimension uh, layer and i'm gonna go back to add some dimension here to the outside so dli on this point this point okay and then dco this point to this point now uh one in x one in y one in x and one in y and again 
one x, one y, one x, and one y. Right. So you need at least like uh, two for each room. That will be sufficient for the overall dimension. And of course, you need to tag the element where have architectural opening, like doors, like this one. So people know when they constructed where it should be. You can add some for the inner dimension of the walls. It's up to you guys. This shouldn't take more than like 10 to 15 minutes. And then overall, I think that's enough. Okay, I think that's my 4,600, and this is the 2,500. This is the DRA for the inner radius from both sides. Dudes, uh, I'm going to create a line here. Half of the student forget to do the hidden line thing. I have no idea why, but anywho, just go layer, go new, and just... Uh, create a new layer call it hidden activated uh keep it 0 0.5 go to the continuous load uh dash line this dude and select it close it and just select those and place it in the proper corresponding layer this is the hidden line any other hidden lines no, just this one. And the last thing is text. Just create a text layer. And I don't know, but I love text to be really white. And I'll make it in current. Again, uh, probably that's the time to deactivate or, sorry, uh, reactivate or turn on the hidden layer. I'm not going to make everything from the beginning. This is the mistake lots of students try to do. I don't know why. You have your text. Just take a copy and change its layer. And write whatever whatever friend written here for you. Living. Okay. My friend. Take that guy. Here. Take that guy. Here. And let's get this over with. You can see. Reception. That's it, technically, guys. You know, it's ended. And that's it. Entry. I think we finished. So that's it, guys. That's how you draw the midterm, the short copy of the midterm. I wish that you find this video useful. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck.